I think last episode's gotta be the best Demon Slayer episode so far for the training arc. Sorry, one, two. But I was gonna sneeze. I thought last episode was actually pretty good. The pacing was just on point. They got into some crazy fights with Sanami and just brawling. Kind of doing a callback to season one content that I missed out on. And overall, entertainment wise, I thought it was like a solid 8 out of 10 episode. Now, today's episode should be even crazier. Gyome's training arc is beginning. While everyone's under the waterfall, what's bro doing? He is cooking himself in flames. What's this guy about? Why is he always crying? Let's begin today's reaction. Yo. Ghetto also has the sorry, not Ghetto in Jujutsu Kaisen. Not Ghetto also has the same mark in the fucking brain. Is he also gonna fucking whoop do that thing again with his head? Okay. Maruta-san-bon-wo-katsugu-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shugyo-shug
Saikyo NPC, the strongest. Okay, I gotta give him some fucking credit then. Mr. Murata, okay. <laughs> Will we have a scene in Infinity Castle arc? Let's see it. Named NPC, that's insane. He, he is insane. I think Yome is crazy. No, no, no. He, he is a lunatic. Something about himself. He should be eating the bones, but uh... Okay. The king of the mountains. Alright. The strongest! Of all the people in, in their corpse. Probably not. I don't think he has a mark. I feel bad for these NPCs. They're actually like getting aware. They're like, damn, you know, they're getting so much ahead. What are we? What do we exist? We exist to die as cannon fodder next to Ark. Man, this sucks. The fish is good. I want to see him move it. There's a rock behind us. Hello? It's moving. Damn. Probably not. I would say Zenitsu is the fucking moron here, man. <laughs> That's a loser mentality. <laughs> Fuck, I hate Zenithu, man. Ugh, just... I don't know if I hate him. He's just fucking annoying, and he's supposed to be annoying. So when he gets, you know, unconscious, he does some cool-ass shit, and that's the Gap Moe. His entire character is made to be fucking annoying, so that when he shuts the fuck up, he's really cool. It's just... It is the way it is. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is. It's his entire fucking character. He's still chanting though. Well, like, Zenitsu only exists to make you guys fucking upset so that when scenes like this, he's like, basically, he always gets bullied, right? He always gets put into shitty situations where it's like, ha ha ha, Zenitsu's suffering, right? Even last episode, too, even the episode before that, you'll notice a common theme where it's like, the author is very aware that people don't like Zenitsu because of the way that he portrays him, unfor unfortunate. So what can he do? Make him suffer so that we can be like, ha ha, fuck you, Zenitsu. You know, it's just, it is what it is. That's how he's made to be. <laughs> Know how heavy that is. Oh, that was it for the log lift. I thought I thought we had to like move it around. Let's just lift it once. Okay, we're done. Let's go to the fucking rock then. One show, baby. One show. Oh wait, upper four stuff. It's the bibbing, bibbing, doing, doing, doing. Be a woman. One more. What did you just see? Sixty. So she's basically doing like um, logistic spying, just counting how many people we have. Okay, got it. <laughs> Nezuko. We're hiding our well, but for how long? Nakime is Biwa Woman's name. Okay. That's it? Is that, is that the only Muzan we're gonna get? Ugh, I want more Muzan, bro. I, I need more fucking Michael Jackson, bro. Come on. He's so cool. He's so cool. Nakime, though, huh? Da Daki was like simping so hard for Muzan. I wonder if Nakime also feels the same way towards her. We've never seen Nakime before, right? I, actually, we probably saw her, like, just scenes here and there, probably, like, last season. But before that, was she ever hinted? Was she ever hinted in, like, season one? I think I remember her in, like, you know, season four before. But, like, before that, right? I don't think she's ever been hinted before, like, last, last season, right? Nakime, oh, Mr. Mr. Murata, the named NPC. Wait, more? More Muzan scene? <laughs> you know, they're so fucking desperate to just 
had the fucking episodes install it. If you're gonna have a literal intermission scene that ends with the fucking same dialogue that it starts with. Nakime, you've grown even more than I ever imagined. The Subarashi. Wait, what? You just said that! You just changed the camera angle! Okay, this is new content. Whoa. Ew, these fucking creepy ass eyeballs, dude. So he wants to fight not only Nezuko, but also the master as well, huh? Okay, that's something I didn't actually realize. And no more Infinity Castle. <sighs> Well, I appreciate that they, you know, added these scenes in because, like, fuck. Can we just go in there, bro? They're fucking teasing us so much with this Inception, like, fucking, you know, domain of the Infinity Castle. Please take us there. When do you think we're going to get there, guys? This is June 2024. I'm going to assume we're going to get Demon Slayer again in 2025. So probably next year earliest or early next next year 2026 or 20 i hope they get something cooking for 2025 i mean this is such a small arc so i'm sure they got something cooking right now right one chill baby 358 feet oh the fucking slipper broke what are we gonna do no a true man doesn't need shoes I, I don't blame them because like pushing this fucking rock is like you either can or can't there's no like giving up you know what I mean because like when you think about it you either can or can't move this no amount of training and saying ah you can't you know this is like you either can or you can't it's just it's over i wouldn't like like what kind of training right now is gonna help them move the fucking rock you know <laughs> goodbye unnamed npcs goodbye Okay, okay, what does sustainment support mean? Sustain, because like, it's basically supporting, su sustaining ourselves. Are they fucking going to be in the kitchen cooking for us? Are they just acting as literal fucking cannon fodder? What, what, what does sustainment support mean, bro? It, they're just backup reserve to show up and just die in the fucking war? Human meat shield, or are they fucking cooking in the kitchen for us? What, what, what is, it's okay. <laughs> All of us Demon Slayer standing together. Let's go for Muzan Kibutsuji's head. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure these three are gonna be there when we have our fucking blade pointed at Muzan. For sure, guys, I believe it. I know, I know, they, he doesn't mean that they're gonna fucking kill Muzan. I, it's a team effort. <laughs> あ、本当だ。めっちゃ簡単。かなり体を酷使したから塩分はどうぞ。いや、梅。もう。Is what is a Suguko? Is the season one shit? Anybody know? Anybody? Hello? Chat? You guys are napping? Alright. It's an apprentice? I see. Maybe they died. Zenitsuya! <laughs> Yeah, they are. And the more incredible thing is how Tanjiro and, you know, our gang has been just keeping up with the fucking Hashiras and offering support and killing upper moons. I think that's even more fucking ridiculous. Tanjiro, you're so good at cooking. Wow. Nah, that flame here, he's a son of a fucking sun breather, bro. He's a fucking son of a sun breather. Look at that flame. 
Yaki onigiri mo oishii n desu. A charcoal grill onigiri like that? Kono misotsuki saikou da yo. That actually looks really good. Mom's cooking? Tanjiro's got it? Okuro. Oh, our family that died immediately in episode one. Come on. You gotta move that rock 358 feet. This rock is fucking ridiculous. Activate Demon Slayer Mark. If you activate the Demon Slayer Mark, all of your base strength gets enhanced. If he is in prime condition when fighting Hantengu and... Fighting, you know, fucking, you know, the entertainment district arc. He can fucking do it. He doesn't know how to activate it on will, though, right? I don't think he can do it at will. Maintain my mark. Mark. Oh, Genya. The mark? Did it actually get dark? Hold up, what does it mean? Yeah, you, you need to do that because your brother's trying to gouge your fucking eyes out. One of them's going to sacrifice each other to help himself. And then it's going to be like the brothers are okay kind of deal. Yeah, that mark. I feel like this is really important. His mark actually got darker. What does it mean? It's getting closer to being activated at will. I don't know. He has more proficiency with it. He's just been outside. He's just been outside and it's been tanning. What's going on with the mark? <laughs> <laughs> Tanjiro's happy that the mark got darker? Why? Is there something I don't understand about the implication of a mark getting darker and like what that means? Because he says he's happy that the mark got darker. I'm just going to assume that like this is on the way to, you know, having control over the, the actual Demon Slayer mark. But like, what does it mean? Like, being darker doesn't really mean that you can activate it, right? He probably thinks that, oh, things are changing. Maybe there's some progress, even though I don't really know what it means that it got darker. Just shoot, just shoot the boulder. Just shoot it. What? How? What the fuck's he talking about? There's a technique? There's a technique that we've been missing out on? <laughs> Yo, why is Kiyome so fucking cute? Even like before, like he's like, throw him in the water, throw him in the river. And I was like, Namu, I'm, I'm watching you kids. <laughs> Completely random fact. Do you know what the word Namu means in Korean? It means tree. Genya has toned down so much. Him and Tanjiro are just such good friends. Senses are one. This just enhances our strength? This is important. Raising heart rate and body temperature is the byproduct of symptoms of Demon Slayer Mark getting, you know, activated. So, hold on. So we think about painful memories, get mad, and then... More! More painful memories! Hey, mom. Mom. Thanks, mom. Mom! I want rice ball! Mom! Onigiri! I'm hungry, mommy! Okay, I'm coming. He was really close there to activating something there, though. Look at that fire animation. Genya's asking a very good question. Isn't the mark on your forehead a sign that you're in that same state? Right? When the Demon Slayer mark gets activated, then your heart rate, your body temperature is high. It's kind of like being in repetitive motion. So does that mean that Gyome has already achieved it? Or basically he's already kind of there, but just needs the Tanjiro factor now to get that Demon Slayer mark? I don't think I've seen Yomei enough in action to really understand, but they kind of said like, hey, 
Maybe Guillaume already has that mark, right? That was mentioned earlier. I wonder if he already fucking has it. He can't, though. I thought that it needs to be around the sun breather. My theory was like, yeah, of course your body temperature and heart rate, these are like symptoms of like when you have the mark activated, but it seems to be centered around having a sun breather to almost like spread the mark amongst people. Okay, he does not have the mark. Everyone needs to push it together while Tanjiro activates it. Somebody stab Nezuko. Somebody tell Muzan Nezuko is here. Nezuko needs to get kidnapped. Tanjiro, mad, easy. Now, a Demon Slayer mark only exists to those that uses breathing techniques? This is not right, right? Because I think that Genya could also have that mark. And the question why I'm asking this is, what about Nezuko, right? You think that Nezuko could have that mark to make her even stronger? I don't know how this fucking shit works. It sounds like this is specific to Demon Slayer. It's a Demon Slayer mark, but what is a Demon Slayer? A person that hunts down demons. What is Genya? Well, Genya's kind of a demon too, human and demon. He can't use breathing techniques, but like, if Genya could activate it, then could Nezuko? Probably not, because she's more demon than Genya, because Genya's kind of like a hybrid. Random thought. Could you imagine Nezuko with the demon mark though? Okay. motion, increase focus, and then... Okay. Oh, no! Rengoku! It's up! There it is! It's online! The mark is red! Yup, there it is! There it is! This is Demon Slayer Mark being activated right now, right? Okay, 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 come on, come on! A little bit more! Is it still on? The mark! Yes! Ah, oh, look at that, look at that change, right? Look at that change, right? I love how, like, first it was a scar, then a mark, and then now it's just like, you know, this actual mark, right? So, sorry. First it was like a burn into the mark, into the fucking, uh, into the scar, into the mark, so like, okay, okay. Now, we need like everyone else around Tanjiro. How does the mark spread? I'm not sure. Maybe we should rub Tanjiro's fucking mark on Gyome. Like everyone else needs to fucking like rub their faces against Tanjiro and then like the mark will fucking spread or something. C get closer! Rub your head with me! Activate again. The sun's rising. He who conquered the sun. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, there's again. Dude, it's like... It's like his entire blood, like arteries and veins being filled with fire. Look at that animation, man. And then we got the mark back again. Here we go. Let's go one show, baby. One show. That's good. That's honestly good. I know it's that one show. Yeah. Quick, while the mark is hot, come fucking touch it. I don't know how it spreads. I feel like you need to fucking touch it. Oh, Muzan. Oh, Muzan still. What do you look like? He doesn't know what Master looks like? What? Do we know why he's even trying to look for the Master from the first place? Is that, has that ever been explained in Season 1? Is it just as simple as, oh, he's the boss of the Demon Slayer Corps and we are demons, therefore I need to get you, right? But... It doesn't? Am I crazy or do they kind of look similar? I'm crazy, right? There, there, there's nothing. They could be family. Are they fucking long lost brothers? Like, what's going? No, 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 no. Muzan is like a being that's been. It's like an ancient being. We already know his fucking backstory from last season. But like, they look similar. Nah, I'm probably fucking coping. Namu. Mom and daughter. Aww. 
Fun fact right now, he's got the Demon Star Mark activated. You see this shit? You see this shit? He's got Tanjiro has the fucking Demon Star Mark fucking activated in the outro section right now. Really? How is he gonna fucking accept the death of everyone? Then again, he was crying when he got the letter from Rengoku, right? That he's been, he's been passed away. <laughs> is he just constantly just on ecstasy? Why is he always just so empathetic and crying? And it's like, oh my god. Character. All right, and that is today's episode of Demon Slayer, which was pretty interesting, right? So we got to see more of like, um, how does one activate the Demon Slayer mark? But it's not even like activating the Demon Slayer mark because the repetitive motion, basically remembering old, you know, memories and getting an emotional response and activating your body, Gyome can do that. Genya can do that, but even if they do that, they cannot activate their mark because they just don't have that X factor. This X factor being something that Tanjiro has that he was able to relay onto, you know, Mitsuri last arc, same with Muichiro. I would have to go back to that season and really, really fucking obsess about any point where they came in contact with Tanjiro, but I truly do believe that it might spread like fucking STIs or something. I don't know. You, you fucking, the mark is active and you fucking rub your face against it, you touch the skin, and then, then we have it, the virus, and then you fucking activate that shit? I don't know, but we're very close to the secrets of the Demon Slayer mark and what it entails. A lot of the other cool scenes were like with Muzan, right? Muzan is, you know, that we, we got the upper four's name, you know, the bang girl, and then Muzan basically wants to know not only where Nezuko is, but Ubuyashiki, the master. I don't think we really know anything lore-wise why he wants to look for him. It's gotta be more than just the fact that he's like the boss of the master of the Demon Slayer Corpse, right? Because obviously this is a demon, Demon Slayer Corpse. There has to be a reason. At the end of Entertainment District Art, the master said Muzan is a blemish on their family. So clearly there is kind of related, right? Clearly, there's gotta be some kind of resemblance, right? I don't fucking know, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist with more content, and until next time, take care.